Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm back to uh, do a continuation of the tutorial I did the other day which is um, creating front and back effects for your mixes. Um, what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to continue this and I'm going to create a space that goes left and right as well as front and back. Also, uh, before I begin, uh, Grummo, one of the guys at uh, Hydelide's site, um, actually suggested that since the uh, imagers don't change between the high band and the low bands um, that this crossover doesn't really do anything and I would agree so first thing I'm gonna do is remove those um, that crossover frequency so now that uh, frees up another rotary so let's continue let's get right in here and uh, so far so good what we've got, if, I'm, if you hold down your control key and you click the little plus arrow, what's going to happen is all of your devices inside the combinator are going to open up. Uh, what we created the other day was a front mix and a back mix. And so now what we need to do is we need to create two different effects. Uh, we're going to create two more phasers and one of them is going to go to the left and the other one, um, one's going to go left, one's going to go right. And we're going to do this for the front and for the back. So let's uh, flip the rack around, and I know there's a lot of cabling, but uh, let's keep the cable shown so that we can we can see what we're doing. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to hold down, uh, select the first front phaser, hold down the shift key, and create another phaser. And then we're going to do the same on the back. We're going to create another phaser. Uh, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to hold down on the reverb and you're going to create a splitter an audio merger and splitter and the same thing hold down the shift key create an audio merger and splitter um, right underneath all the uh, the two reverbs so what we're going to do now basically we're going to take this uh, this output from the reverb and we're going to split it like so and then we're going to have one split going into the front phaser and another split going into the other phaser this is now going to become the front left phaser and this is going to become the front right and then we're going to take the outputs of the phaser and we're going to send them into a channel on your mixer just so we can keep things straight, let's move this one channel over and then let's put this into the second channel and again you're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to split these channels from your reverb and you're going to split it going into the back or going into the left and going into the right and then that's going to go back up to channel number four. And then again let's rename this. This is now going to be the back left phaser and this is going to be the back right phaser. Okay, now if we flip it over, what we've now got is we have four channels. We have the front left, front right, back left, and back right. So let's go into our programmer here. We're going to select the line mixer, and we're going to put on rotary three, we're going to have that going to channel three. Rotary four is going to go to channel four. And this now becomes your front left mix. This is now your front right. This is now your back left. And this is the back right. And the last thing we're going to do is um, each of these line mixers, we're going to change the pan settings. So let's pan one, since this is the left, we're going to pan this about 22 to the left, and then this is going to go 22 to the right. And same thing here, you're going to go about 22 to the left, and this is going to go 22 to the right. So now you can you can actually increase these pan settings if you want if if you want to create even more of a, a spatial difference, but right now what you got is you got the left right left right for the front section and for the back section. So if you listen to it, you've got all of them going at once. 
Oh, and one other thing we're going to have to do, bring this down to 100 so that each of them are, are evenly spaced. Okay. So now you've got the front. If you want to just have the front mix going, you've got both the front left and the front right. If you want to have the back left and the back right. Or if you just want to have, let's say, you just want to have the right mix, you can just send it to the right. Or you can just send it to the left. Or you can have some combination of whatever you want to have. You can combine them in any which way you want. So um, that's pretty much the way it works. And in this sense, what you can do is you can basically change your, um, your settings for each of these effects. And you can create, you've got a four corner spatial effect. You can add delays in here. You can add any kind of effects you want and have different effects going to different sections in your mix. So I hope that tip helps you out and um, let me know what you think and come visit me on reason101.net where I will be making this patch available in uh, the next couple of days. Thanks a lot for your time.